All right, guys, so just a warning ahead of time, this will be a very gory and very graphic video, um, but I will be doing a little dissection, just showing the organ placement, uh, basically, of my deceased goldfish, Georgie. I had to euthanize him uh, yesterday. Uh, this is a video I took right after euthanizing him because I wanted to show what everything looked like fresh, basically, right after the goldfish died, before any uh, rotting or any, uh, any de decomposition took place. Um, but yeah, this is just, I, I want to show where the organ placement is. If you ever have to do a swim bladder procedure and want to know targeting where the swim bladder is and the organs around it, uh, this will just kind of help you out. And if you're just wondering where, where the organs are in the fish or what they look like, uh, this will help you out. So the first thing I had to do was basically just make a little puncture underneath the side of the body. Um, uh, just to really make, make a, make a hole for me to use these scissors to kind of cut my, the rest of my way through. All right, this is where it gets gory now. So I'm cutting to when I cut, cut the whole side cut the whole side off so I could see basically a side view of where all the organs are placed. So uh, if you look very closely um, at this little red thing right here, so that actually is a kidney. So if your goldfish has swim bladder, uh, not swim bladder disease, if your goldfish has dropsy, uh, it's typically a problem with your kidney here. Now you really can't do anything. You can't do surgery on them to go give them a kidney transplant or fix their kidneys. Um, but just letting you guys know, if you have a, if you have a, if you have drops in your goldfish and they have trouble regulating the fluid in and fluid out of their body, um, it is going to be basically because of this kidney, this kidney is having trouble regulating that, that, uh, that amount of fluid in. Now, uh, right over here, you see the gonads. I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The, 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 the gonads, this is basically where the sperm is produced. So this connects like the, the, this on the end of it, it connects right to the vent of the goldfish. And uh, that's where the sperm is produced. So if you're trying to hand spawn your goldfish, it's basically at those sides for the male that you actually want to press. Because that's what, when you put pressure on the sides right there is when you're going to have it really release right at the end. You can kind of see there's tension right, right, at the, right at the vent of the goldfish because that's right where it connects to. So if you give a little bit of pressure on the sides, uh, that's when you see sperm come out of the goldfish if you're trying to hand spawn your goldfish. Now, right over here, now, by the way, I'm not an expert, guys. Um, I'm not a professional at this. This is just what I've, from what I've seen online. I'm pretty sure that what I'm seeing right now is uh, the liver. So it's right above the gut. It's this, it's this dark structure right there. I think that's the liver. And then right over here, we see the swim bladder. So if you're ever trying to do a swim bladder procedure and you're, you're thinking, okay, I want to I wanna take a medical, medical grade needle and try to relieve some of the pressure out of the swim bladder, it's an extremely risky procedure, but it might be... Uh, the, the last possible thing you can do. Um, this is the placement of it. So you don't want to you don't want to put the needle in from before from below. You're gonna stab the gut. You're gonna stab the, the liver. You're gonna stab a bunch of stuff. You don't want to put it from the back. You want to basically put it in right from the side. And you can see how it's kind of directly. It's directly in the middle of the goldfish. At least for a fancy goldfish, it's kind of directly there. And it, there are ribs covering this area. But if you get in between the ribs and you kind of peel back a scale or so. Uh, you will be able to basically access the swim bladder without puncturing any other important organ. Uh, but you want to make sure you go from the side, not from the top, not from the bottom, not from the back. Right from the side of the goldfish is the easiest way to get it. So uh, after I remove the other side of the goldfish, I want to show you guys this. That little dark spot, I'm pretty sure the dark spot on the bottom of the gut there, that's the spleen. Not 100% sure though, this is just basically what I've from what I've seen in research. Um, but this, this thing you see on the bottom of the goldfish, this is the gut. So it connects back here, uh, basically to where the like where near the mouth is. And once food is kind of chopped up from their throat, um, it does get shoved into this little area. You can see there's tension there because that that is the connection point. That's where it's where it's connected onto the body. Um, and on the other side, you can see yeah, that's more the liver. I, I, the, the, that's the liver on the on the uh, on top of the gut. And then on this side over here, you can see that um, there's the connection to the anus. So it really has two main connection points. It has a connection point to where they eat and then a connection point uh, to where they, they poop out. And really, if you, if you cut these two connection points, it basically becomes free. And then the entire gut is uh, basically separated from the fish. Now, there is some blood vessels and some, some connective tissue that hold it. But uh, that right there is the gut. And I'm pretty sure there is some of the liver still attached on there. Uh, everything is kind of encased in connective tissue that kind of holds things together. Um, but then as we go further, we see this right here again is a swim bladder. But you wouldn't want to, if you were trying to remove air from the swim bladder, you wouldn't want to put a needle in below because you, you, would, you would go straight to the gut and the liver. You'd want to go through the side. And then you can see again, here's a gonad. I, I ended up cutting off the gonad on the other side, but here's another one on the, on the right side. Um, but yeah, if you're ever trying to hand spawn your fish, a little bit of pressure on either side of the either side of the back like waist area or back near the tail is where you're going to find uh 
that'll release sperm. Now right here, I am cutting out the swim bladder and the swim bladder basically has one main connection point. And again, I'm not a professional, but I'm assuming this is where they're able to uh, swallow air and inflate the swim bladder manually sometimes uh, because goldfish can do that. They can swallow air and they can actually inflate their swim bladder. They do that when they're, when they're little. And I'm assuming that one connection point where I just cut uh, is where, uh, where basically air has access to get in here. Now, I think there might be one more connection point in the back, but I really, I just couldn't tell because it, it's really, it's really hard to, hard to look at all these things with the connective tissue all over. So right over here, we see the, we see the gills. So I, I cut back part of the gill flap and we can see the gills. The gills look very healthy on Georgie. Um, they look nice and red, look very vibrant. And there's, there are a couple layers of them. You'll, you'll see that if you, if you were to look at them, there are a couple layers. Let me just wait till I... Yeah, there they are. So there are a couple layers. There's actually more in there that I didn't cut out. Basically, this is what allows them to take oxygen from the water and put it into their bloodstream. And this right here, if you look very closely, right set underneath the head, uh, that's the heart. So it's very, very small, and it might be not fully intact. I think I might have broken it up a little bit. But that little thing right there is the heart. It's set just basically embedded deep down underneath the head. It's not near the swim bladder at all, not really as close to the other organs. It's really a lot more up front and uh, right underneath, right underneath the head, as I said. Um, but yeah, that little, that little, uh, that little heart right there is what's responsible for pumping the blood all throughout that body. Now, if we take another closer look at the gut, uh, as I cut out before, you can kind of see that it really is like just like one big U-shaped gut. It's kind of hard to tell, but it really, it's almost like one big loop and a little bit of thickness in the middle of that loop. So a little thickness in the middle of that loop, but it's really generally just one like small intestinal tract. That's why they produce so much waste is a lot of the food they eat, a lot of it, the, the nutrients don't get absorbed. A lot of it gets pooped out and then ends up like rotting in the water. That's why like goldfish are such big waste producers. They barely even got a stomach. It's really just one long intestinal tract. And you can kind of see that here, but it is kind of, it's, it's, it is kind of hard to see. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to show. Um, there are other parts of the goldfish, but you know, at that point I was just like, okay, I think, I think you guys have got a good enough kind of idea of what where these organs are, uh, where they're placed in the goldfish. And really the, the main reason for this video is if there's an experienced fish keeper out there that really wants to have a good idea of the placement of the swim bladder and where to basically approach a swim bladder procedure, um, you really want to know, you really want to go basically right behind the head and basically angled, angled toward the back, but uh, have the needle enter kind of right, right behind the, the head growth. Uh, and that's where you're basically going to find the, the best access to the swim bladder. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was educational. And I'm kind of glad that, um, you know, even though it's unfortunate that I had to put, I had to put George out, I had to, I had to euthanize him. At least uh, we get one, one good piece of educational content that might actually help save some other fish out there in the future. It's kind of like he, he uh, you know, his, his body, once he's gone, is like donated to science. So uh, people out there that need to, that need to basically do a swim bladder procedure like I did to Loopy, We'll be able to we'll be able to see exactly where that is and do that with a uh, greater accuracy. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this hope this helps anyone out there. Just hopes this was educational for for anyone else. Uh, Luke Scoldies out.